Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you um, about visiting the Harry Potter Studios in Leeston. Um, but first, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Angela and I make Harry Potter videos. Please click the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date about everything that's happening here on my channel. And now, let's get on with it. Um, before you start wondering why I've got my iPad here, it's because I've written down some tips um, that I definitely have to tell you. So if I'm looking at my iPad, it's um, because of that. Okay, so the first tip is watch tips and trick videos about visiting the Harry Potter series. And that's not because I want to um, praise my own video, but because they actually do help you. Um, they give a lot of new and helpful information, so it's really important that you watch them. And then when you actually make the decision to visit the Harry Potter Studios, then please book your tickets in advance. You can't buy your tickets at the studios. Like, there is just no way they'll allow that. So please book your tickets in advance, preferably some weeks in advance, because they sell out pretty quickly. For example, I'm going to the studios in September and I booked my tickets in May and I'm going to the studios in December as well and I booked those tickets in July. So for me it's a couple of months in advance but that's because um, I really want to make sure that I've got the timing that I want when I can start my tour and the day. Because in December I'm going on my birthday so I'm really looking forward to that and in December it's also Hogwarts in the Snow and Hogwarts in the Snow is really popular so those tickets sell out even faster than the normal tickets. So those were the first two tips, like watch tips and trick videos and book your tickets in advance. Now the third tip is watch haul videos before you um, go, to the, uh, go to the studios. So watch haul videos before you go to the studios and I'll post a link to my haul video in the uh, description box below and I'll put a little note up here. And I'm, I'm not saying that uh, so you'll watch my video, but I'm saying that so you'll get an idea of the prices in the studio because it is quite expensive. Like, I'm not going to lie about that. It is really expensive. And it is important that you have an idea of what you want to buy and how much is it's going to cost you so you can take enough money with you. So it's really important you watch those whole videos because they are helpful as well. Well. If the youtuber says how much the items cost of course because otherwise it's not really helpful um, then when you finally get to the studio um, then when you want to travel to the studios um, so you've got your tickets and the day is there that you are going to travel to the studios now please know that the studios are not in London center they are quite a bit outside of London in Leaveston you can get there by car, by train, um, by bus as well, like for example Golden Tours, they do um, a bus tour, but I'm going to be honest, it's quite expensive, it's much cheaper when you just buy your tickets separately on the Warner Brothers Studio Tour website and then go by train for example. I think the, our train ride was £5.20 for one ride. So. It's £10.40 um, for a return ticket. And then, um, like we did, uh, so when you go by train, like we did, then you go from Euston Station in London to uh, Watford Junction. And at Watford Junction, you get out and You'll see, um, when you get out of the station, you'll see that there is a um, separate bus stop for the Harry Potter buses and you can buy there a return ticket for £2.50, I think, uh, to go to the studios and to come back with this special kind of Harry Potter bus, which is really nice, to be honest. And it's like 15 minutes um, by bus and then they'll bring you to the Harry Potter studios and then you can come back with them as well and I think the latest bus is like half an hour. 
leaves at the studios like half an hour after the latest tour ends. I so you know that's all um, very doable. And then when you get to the studios, you can collect your tickets there, or you could uh, you could choose to send them by post as well. But when you're international, like I am, it's quite expensive to have your tickets sent home to you. So I always choose to collect them at the attraction and then you just go to the ticket shop and you you give your PDF there, you get your tickets and you can walk in. Don't forget, when you get your tickets, don't forget to ask them for a children's passport, especially when you're going for the first time. And I know it's for children, it's, it's a children's passport, but for grown-ups it's a really fun uh, item as well. Because during the tour you can get this, these different stamps on your passport and yeah, it's just a really nice experience. So I definitely recommend that. Um, okay, so that's still tip three. Like, hmm. No, that's tip four. Oh, I'm so getting confused. So tip one was um, the, the, the tips and trick videos. Tip two was uh, haul videos and uh, tip 3 book tickets in advance and then tip 4 was how to get there the transport tip 5 was the um, children's passport okay I promise you I'm now going to be more clear about the tips so we're going to tip 6 and tip 6 is um, at the ticket shop as well so um, aside from the children's passport ask for a birthday badge um, you, you can only do that when it's actually your birthday I do have to confess that I once did that when it wasn't my birthday. Um, I still got one. But it's, it's a really nice experience. Like I'm not going to, to say too much about it, but you can do something special at the beginning of the tour. And just all the co-workers are really nice. Like They'll say, oh, happy birthday and enjoy your day. And everyone's just really nice when you're wearing a birthday badge. So I definitely recommend that. Um, tip number seven. Number seven is um, you got your tickets and then you walk on and you'll have to pass the security and they'll do a security check. They'll check your bags and such. And I always try to take a small bag with me. Like for example, last time I had a small bag with me and then I had a plastic bag with some fruit um, inside of it. And that's all fine. Like it makes the security check um, go faster and then you can get inside faster as well. So that's something that you should be aware of, that the security check is real and it's really happening. Like they'll actually check your back. There's just no way around it. So that's tip number seven. Then when you pass the security um, area, you, that's, okay, so tip number eight, when you pass the security area, you walk inside a reception area with small shops and uh, tables and chairs to sit on but you've also got like a huge open space with pictures on the wall and those pictures are definitely worth looking at like don't just walk past them like actually look at them um, and that's all I'm going to say about that I'm not going to say what the pictures are about <laughs> because you have to see for yourself and otherwise the surprise is gone so definitely look at the pictures tip number nine um is actually a bit the same as the whole videos but please visit the gift shop before you start your tour just so you've got an idea of the items they have of the prices they are and what you want to buy because when you're inside the tour you'll come across two other gift shops and they'll have some exclusive items that are only available in that gift shop. And then um, if you've visited the main gift shop before you, you started your tour, then you'll know if the exclusive items are worth buying uh, it or not. And it will, make, it will make it easier to decide what you're going to get and what you're not going to get. Because please pay attention, like the items that are available in the gift shops during the tour so that's the Hogwarts Express gift shop platform nine and three quarters and the Forbidden Forest gift shop like please keep in mind that the items there um, 
well, most items there are not available in the gift in the main gift shop. Like for, for example, some magnets and keychains, they they will be available in the main gift shop, but not the more exclusive items. So you really have to think about what you want to get and what you don't want to get. It's really important. Oh, and same if if you decide to buy some goodies in the main gift shop before you start your tour like don't worry about having to take them with you inside the tour you can leave them at the cloakroom there's a free cloakroom where you can leave bags and you're cloaked obviously and it's uh, really secure so no chance there of losing your stuff or etc then tip number 10 i think we're at 10 if I'm wrong, so sorry guys, I think we're at 10. Um, there is food at the studios, like um, in the reception area where you walk in, where you enter. There is a Starbucks and there is a different kind of cafe where you can buy food. Um, you can also bring food, your own food with you. And uh, last time I did that, so I bought... I brought my own food with me and I ate it before I started the tour. Inside the tour there's a backlot cafe of course where they say where they sell a butter beer and butter beer ice cream and you definitely have to try that like there is just no other way but they'll have normal food like hot dogs and such as well. And um, please keep in mind that the food is um, pretty expensive because it's obviously Harry Potter related and everything is more expensive when it's Harry Potter related. Then tip number 11, I think we're at 11, is there are different green screens um, inside the studio tour and of course you can walk past them just like that but it's a real experience, it's a really amazing experience to try those green screens and to fly on a broomstick and to get your picture taken with Witch Wanted or Wizard Wanted and like it's a really amazing experience. I can only recommend you try that. Um, because you try them doesn't mean you have to buy the video or the picture. Just try them. Like I did. I flew a broomstick last time. But I didn't buy the video that came with it. I did buy... Did I buy the photo? No, I didn't. I tried the green screen at the Hogwarts Express. And I bought that video. Um, which is really nice as well because then there is a Dementor passing and then there's just the platform 9 and 3 quarters um, label passing. So yeah, it's a really amazing experience. So I highly recommend that. Tip number 12 is something that not a lot of people know about. But when you get inside the Forbidden Forest part, at a certain point you'll meet Bugbeak. And I'm not going to say too much about it, but just... Stand in front of him and bow. And sometimes you have to bow for quite a long time, but eventually something will happen. And of course, if you know the books and the films, then you'll know what happened, but still, I'm not going to say it here. Live on camera for those of you who want it to be a surprise. Tip number 13. <laughs> I've got a feeling that I'm completely wrong with the numbers. Take your time walking around, please. Like. You can spend as much time inside the studio tour as you, as you want. There is no one who is going to say, like, please hurry up, unless you're the last tour, of course, and they want to close up. But otherwise, like, take your time. I think the longest I've been inside the studio tour has been around six hours, I think. And the shortest was three and a half, four hours. So take your time. Like, if you're not sure of if you want to see something again, you can go back. Um, it's no problem. It's just the first part. Um, the first part of the tour is guided by someone from the studios um, because they'll show you like a small video and such. So the, f the first part is guided but then afterwards you're all by yourself and you can do whatever you want. Of course you can't touch anything like please don't touch anything. They don't like it when you touch things. And um, yeah just take your time look around, um, enjoy the scenes you see there and 
the backgrounds and just everything like it's absolutely stunning guys absolutely um that's it for tip number 13 then um tip number 14 is a bit the same it's just make a lot of videos and photos like especially if it's your first time you want something you want to you want those memories and of course there is nothing better than making videos and photos but also keep in mind that the best memories are kept here so make sure you enjoy the views as well and don't just take pictures and make videos and such and tip number 15 i think it's tip number 15 and that's the most important one is please have fun this is a unique experience and you have to enjoy every single minute of it and that's it for this video guys that's the most important tips that i want to give you i hope you liked this video then if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date about everything that's happening here and i'll see you next time bye